Well, you know, when people say, let's go to the beach, right. and you're in Naples, Florida, what does that really mean? It means like, well, we have a decision to make. Which beach? That's right. There are so many. So we'll spend a little time today checking out the beaches in Naples. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Terry Pascarelli with MVP Realty. I'm Rich Pascarelli with MVP Realty. And here we are at one of the beaches in Naples. Mm -hmm. And as we were saying, there are so many choices of where you can go to the beach. And we'll try to cover the majority of them, right. the types of beaches and some of the key areas that people really should check out when they're visiting beaches in the Naples area. Right, because we have, like you said, we, there's different, different beaches, different areas. Some are city beaches, some are county beaches. Ah, yes. So, Absolutely. And there's even a state park beach. Right. So in the course of this video, we'll visit them and you'll be able to see what might be a great fit for you or your family to come out and have a relaxing time at the beach. We're starting in the city of Naples. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a great place to start. I mean, I'm looking at the pier, which we're going to go and see later. That's right. And one of the things that's really remarkable and nice about Naples beaches is that all of the east-west roads, mm -hmm. like 5th Avenue South that so many people know about, right. but 6th Avenue, 7th, 8th, Broad Street, all of these streets that run up to the beach have at least a few parking spaces right near a beach access point. Right. And so it doesn't force everybody to congregate in one particular area and you can really spread out, come yeah. to an area that is lightly populated based mm -hmm. on the homes along the beachfront. And right. so as you come out, you can enjoy a really peaceful walk on the beach. Right. Uh, people come out and do some fishing or they just come out to relax. Just come out in the morning like we come out in the morning and enjoy it. And it's there's usually less people in these areas because there's less parking. So if there's no big parking garage, if you have a dozen parking spaces, that that's pretty much what you're gonna find at the beach. That's right. So for these, I'll call them kind of finger access points at the end of the streets, something to remember is that it is just the end of a neighborhood street. So right. there are no facilities at these beaches That's other than trash cans so mm -hmm. that you can keep the beaches clean. And if you have something to eat or drink, you can, you know, put it away properly. Uh, there are very uh, varied little either uh, bridges mm -hmm. or walkways that are built from the parking area down to the beach. So some are very accessible. Some are quite you know, accessible, uh, but you'll have to check them out based on your mobility and your ability to right. take your things from the car and come on over. Uh, but the benefit of not having it built up right. is that these beaches are wide open. Mm -hmm. So as you're in Naples, you're going to see white sandy beaches, soft sand, beautiful beaches with a really good expanse of sand even when the tide comes in and comes out. Right. And um, these are one of the options that you have. And we're going to contrast that with some of what's available at some of the other major access points. Right. But in the meantime, we'll take a look around and see that there are people out enjoying a beautiful morning, running, walking under their umbrellas, getting ready to go in the water, everything that someone could want. And it's not overwhelming. No. I love that about this beach, no. that it's really kind of a very peaceful place. It is really, you know, that's why we, that's why we come here, uh, because it is so peaceful. These are some of our favorites. So yep. let's check it out. Well, one of the places we do always think about when we talk about Naples beaches is the very famous beach surrounding the Naples Pier. Absolutely. Everybody that comes to Naples always asks about the Naples Pier. This is one of the most iconic emblems, and it has been part of the Naples history for well over 100 years mm -hmm. and has been rebuilt a couple of times right. because of a variety of, of issues, fire or storms, etc. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's in another state of needing repair. Right because of a hurricane that came through in 2022 and took out the better part of the pier. However, 
there are still facilities here. Right. The beaches are open, mm -hmm. and the very beginning part of the pier is available to walk out just a little bit. Not enough room for fishing. Right. Which is usually a very big activity. Well, here. it is the fishing pier, yes. Right. Yeah. And so, unfortunately, that part's not open, but the stairways on either side that go down to the actual beaches are open, mm -hmm. and people are down there fishing and walking and just enjoying sitting or swimming and right. you know, relaxing on the beach. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this beach? Uh, this is one of my favorite beaches. Uh, it again because it it is not uh, very populated. It's a nice place to come. You still have some facilities here if you need them. Uh, when things are going great and the pier is built out, you can come out and you can uh, get yourself some pizza on the pier and and coffee, uh, coffee right? and, some, and cold drinks. So this is a very nice part of the Naples beaches. Absolutely. So let's go take a look and we'll show you what it looks like today and you'll be able to see that it's still a very active beach and a really great place to come. There is parking for local residents right up near the beach and there is a parking lot just across the street. And right. so if you are truly a visitor, um, then you can come and pay to park and just enjoy this beautiful location in downtown Naples. That's a very inexpensive way to enjoy the town. Absolutely. We'll see you up on the beach. While a lot of our beaches are named for the street number mm -hmm. that they're at the end of, we also have some named beaches as well. And one of the most favorite in the city of Naples is Loudermilk. And for good reason too, there's a lot of facilities here. That's right, so this is a park and a beach mm -hmm. if you wanna look at it that way. There's a playground, there are facilities, there's picnic areas, right. there are benches to sit down if you just come out and take a walk around the grounds. Just wanna be in the shade. This That's is a good right. place to spend the day. This is a yeah. really wonderful spot. So we're gonna take a, a look around Loudermilk. Mm -hmm. It's just north of downtown off of Gulf Shore and it is very easy to access with plenty of parking. Oh yes. And again, remember if you're a resident, you can get a resident pass right. so that you can park here showing that pass. If you're in a rental car or if you're a visitor, right. make sure you pay to park because there are uh, patrols around checking and making sure that everybody has a legitimate parking pass or has paid to park where they need to. Right. But it's a really beautiful beach, so I think we should it go is. check it out. Let's, go, let's show it to them. All right, here we go.
Well, you know, it's such a cool thing to have the Naples City beaches, mm -hmm. but if you live in Southwest Florida, that is not the only beach opportunity that we have. No. And in Collier County in particular, there are a number of beaches that are really popular, both with residents and local visitors. And this is one that's very popular. So popular, it's even got its own parking garage. That's for sure. So this is one of those named beaches, right. Vanderbilt Beach. And maybe not surprisingly, it is at the very western point of Vanderbilt Beach Road in Collier County. Funny how that worked out. Yeah, it worked out great, but it's easy to find. Yes. And as you said, there's like a three-level parking garage. Mm -hmm. So what a nice place to come if you want your car out of the sun, if you're going to be really at the beach for the day. Right. Um, a lot of the others have surface parking, and mm -hmm. this one has that beautiful parking garage just really a few steps away. It's not far at all. Right? And there are maybe more, you know, kind of built-out facilities here. Right. Uh, there are certainly rental umbrellas and chairs and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And you're really not too far here from some of the really nice food venues oh, in absolutely. the area that are yes. walkable from this beach. So that's yeah. another reason people enjoy coming here. I know one of our favorites is going over to the Gumbo Limbo. Now that's reopened and it's a little too early for us today, but I think we're going to come back. I'm sure we will. Now Gumbo Limbo <laughs> is part of the Ritz-Carlton Naples, which is the beach Ritz-Carlton. Right. We are fortunate enough to have two here, one right on the beach and right at Vanderbilt Beach. And right. so from the beach area, you can walk up to their seaside, mm -hmm. uh, kind of very casual bar and restaurant that's right. built up kind of high up over the the landscaping. So you have great water views. Beautiful view. And people come for sunsets. And, and really and, nice yeah. breeze and everything. So that's a real treat. And uh, when it's open, because it's being refurbished now, the Turtle Club is another really, really big favorite right. and well known to locals in particular. Mm -hmm. And that also accesses right out here onto the beach, a little bit north of the uh, entry to the right. beach, but uh, just a few steps away. So this is really popular. And I think one of the reasons it's also popular with visitors is that it's near Naples Park. Mm -hmm. And Naples Park is a community uh, that has the opportunity for Airbnbs or rental homes, right. that sort of thing. They vacation rental by owner mm -hmm. and so especially at some peak times around holidays and spring break and through the summer that's right. a real popular place for people to come and visit and right. this is the natural beach for them to oh, to come can... up to walk ride a bike drive their car absolutely it's very easy for them to get here they can rent it for the rent the, the house for the week and then come on over here on their bikes and so that's why this is really the place to be. It is. Now I've seen weddings on this beach mm -hmm. and all kinds of occasions. Right. There are just beautiful stretches um, of sand, sandy yeah. areas, again white soft sand mm -hmm. and the very nice waters of the Gulf of Mexico and views to the north and south that really go on for quite a long ways. Right. So that's kind of fun. Now if you've been to Vanderbilt Beach, uh, especially prior to uh, last year 2022, uh, you will find when you return that it has uh, the appearance is very different than what it used to look like. It is. Uh, I see things that um, have changed that are kind of back in a natural state. We mm -hmm. used to have a little wooden boardwalk area that helped people to access the beach. Right. There was a concession stand immediately mm -hmm. at the end of that little wooden boardwalk. Right. And it's all gone. That's gone. Right. But the sand is here and the landscape is growing back in right. and the facilities are here to welcome people and have a really comfortable day at the beach in a very natural way. It's just a little less built out um, because the hurricane season of 2022 really impacted this area. It certainly did. It did. Now, the other thing that you can do when you're here is water sports mm -hmm. and especially down a little closer to um, the Ritz Carlton, kind of right on the public side of the beach. There's usually some vendors who right. help you to do parasailing or jet skiing, those right. kinds of things. So this is also a real popular beach because of that. Yes. Yeah. And the sun is just shining and making it. Uh, so I want to <laughs> take one of these chairs and head over there and just relax. <laughs> well, we should show them around a little bit and see what see what it looks like today. Absolutely.
here we are at the end of the path. That's right. That was a that was a really nice walk. It's in the shade. It's not very far. Uh, but if you don't want to walk, you can take to have their little golf cart trams. That's right. The trams are wonderful. You can pile on the tram yourself with your folded up beach chair, a small cooler, even maybe a small umbrella. And right. they'll help you transport everything here from the parking lot all the right. way out to the beach. Right. And when you get here, there are nice facilities. There are shaded yeah. and uh, sunny areas, including mm -hmm. a little restaurant. Yep restroom facilities there are stairs and ramps down to the beach mm -hmm. a lot of natural vegetation here and yeah. then just beautiful gulf shore beaches yep what do you think i think we show them around okay let's do that it's a beautiful spot don't miss it clam pass this is part of the collier county beach system in naples Another whole experience on Collier County beaches are right here on Marco Island. I love the Marco Island beaches. And here we are at Tiger Tail Park and Beach. And it is one of the Collier County beaches on Marco Island. Mm -hmm. And it is the opportunity to check out a very different kind of Gulf beach. It is. This is the, the beach itself is really different than what you'd find going up into the uh, Naples beaches. Uh, and it's just a lot of fun down here. And you know, we feel like sometimes when you come over that bridge from the Naples area into Marco Island, you just get a sense of almost a vacation and relaxation, right. a step away from even your everyday um, experiences. And it's mm -hmm. only moments and minutes of a drive away really from is. the greater part of Naples and the rest of Collier County. But it is definitely worth the drive. It is. And, and, and there's a lot of ways to experience the beaches here. We're going to show you Tiger Tail, but talk right. a little bit about other ways that people can experience these big beaches in Marco Island if you're not at the county beach. Well, one of the things that we've done is we've actually come over for a little staycation. We've, especially right. during, the, the, during the off season, you know, check around, look for some good rates at some of the beautiful hotels and resorts that are down here. And because we're so close, just a one night stay at a hotel actually gets you two days at the beach. It's perfect. It is very, very nice. And these beaches on Marco Island are wide. They're a little bit more hard packed in the sand. Mm -hmm. uh, the surf is different, mm -hmm. even though it's still Gulf uh, waters. And it is a different experience. There's a lot of boating here. Right. And a lot of fun water sports as well. Um, when you're at Marco Island and on the beach, you may want to take advantage of a banana boat ride right. or parasailing, but even right. going down into the 10,000 islands right. and seeing the manatees and the dolphins mm -hmm. playing, it's a very different experience and one that shouldn't be missed whether you're a resident or a visitor. Absolutely. We did that one time. We took some jet skis and we went out on a tour of the 10,000 islands. What a great day that was. And that was right off the beaches in Marco Island. So as we get ready to pull into Tiger Tail Beach and show you a little bit more of the facilities here, we definitely want you to remember that this is part of the Collier County beach system. Right. If you're a resident of Collier County, your, your beach pass is valid here. Mm -hmm. And if not, there is a daily charge for visitors as there are at all of the Collier County and city of, of Naples beaches that we've been visiting. They make it very easy. They really do. Let's go check this out. Look at the expanse and the size of this beach. It's totally incredible. And it's really the distance that we came out from the parking area uh, leads us either to a coastal lagoon or right here to the Gulf of Mexico. And the beaches here on Marco are immense. 
you have so much room to spread out. You can see that this is a very, very different kind of sand and there's a different surf than what you're going to find up on the Naples beaches. But it is a beautiful place, whether it's early in the morning to come out and take a walk or go do some shelling, or to come out later in the day for water sports, swimming, and of course, for the beautiful, beautiful Marco Island sunsets. You can't go wrong. This is just part of what the Naples and Collier County lifestyle is all about. So be sure to visit our Collier County beaches, including Tiger Tail Beach. Now, if you're finding something helpful and interesting in this video episode, I'll ask you to give this a thumbs up. And we really appreciate it if you can leave us a comment about your favorite Naples beaches down below this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free. You can hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you'll know every time we post a new episode to the channel. We really appreciate being able to bring you all the best, not only of Naples real estate and housing, but of the Naples lifestyle, including time at the beaches in Naples, which is all of our favorite thing to do. Now, speaking of the Naples lifestyle, there are so many things to see and do here, and it's hard to show them all in one episode. So while we're focusing today on the beaches of Naples, don't forget that we've also taken you with us on the Naples trolley. And if you wanna see the best sights in Naples up and down the coastline, Check out this video in the upper corner of the screen. It is our Naples Trolley Tour video, and we'll see you over there.